Here's an orthographic projection of a base bracket. I'm going to use this as an example of how to draw an object in three views. A front view, top view, and a right side view. Let's begin. The first thing we want to do is set up our units. So we type in units and we're using a fractional type with a precision always smaller than the size of the smallest fraction. We're going to use 164. Angle precision type and precision is not necessary. The next command we use is called limits. You type in the limits command. You're going to be asked for what the lower left corner of the drawing is. You will type in 0 comma 0. For the upper right corner, it's the size of the drawing plus some more space around it. In our case, it's actually the size of a piece of paper. So you would type in 11, 8.5. To type in 8.5, you need to use this format. The dash symbol and the slash symbol. To see our limits, Turn on grid mode and type in zoom all. Z enter, A enter. And you can see the grid here. Right click on snap settings and make sure that you have unchecked display grid, grid beyond limits, like you see here. The snap spacing will be 1 eighth of an inch with a major line every. Eight, which will look like this. So you can see every inch of the drawing with a snap spacing of one eighth of an inch for each grid line on the screen. There's no grid beyond the limits. Toggle switches we will need. Dynamic mode should be on. Ortho mode will be on mostly. Line weight should be on. And as for object snap settings, you want to have endpoint, midpoint, center, quadrant, intersection, and perpendicular active. Your layers, you created layers before, you'll be using your layers. Your textile, use your own textile. You should have your name with it. Let's set our dimension settings. So you click on dimension style here. You will make a style for fractions. If you have not already, you can click on new, add the word fractions and your last name. If you already have a style like you see here for example, you can use an existing one, click on new and add the word fractions and your last name like I did here. If you need, simply need to modify a style, Click on Modify, and the setting we're changing is in primary units. You're going to use fractional units with a precision of 1 over 64, which is smaller than the smallest fraction in our drawing. All other settings, if need be changed, I'll show you what they were. Lines, this is 1 8th, this is 1 16th. Don't worry about any other settings at this time. Symbols and arrows, this is one eighth of an inch. Center marks are none. Don't worry about any other settings at this time. For text, if your style is missing, select it from the list. If it's still missing, create a new one here. Text height is one eighth of an inch. All other settings are as is. Leave them where they are. Fit tab, leave everything as it is. Just however, make sure it's one at this location here. Now that that's all set, click OK, highlight that style, click Set Current, and Close, and now we're ready to begin.